Okay. Whoa. It's not even a big fish, but it's causing problems. Trying to get it back up, got it. Oh, nice. A little bit of water in my waders, but uh, I'll be all right. Not a big fish, but uh, first one on the dry dropper, so concept works. So uh, let's get this one away. Yes! Yes! Nicely done! Landed! Yeah, catching this fish is, is completely different feeling than yesterday having a good night, good feed, a rest and fishing fresh is different than getting up 2 o'clock in the morning, drive 5 hours fishing first 3 hours without even having any contact with fish your morale is going really down so it's a different day and yeah quite happy didn't take the dry, took the, the dropper but it's a good sized fish Yeah. Very nice, Powell. Nice fish. Mm. Very cool. Close up there. Nice. Uh, that's all good. Yeah, I see a fish. Yep. I'll show you where it is and you catch it. Where my fly is about now, but a little bit further over between those two rocks. Look at where. Uh, yep, cast that direction. It's right in the middle here. Good cast. Alright, okay, it's a little bit further over to my side. That should hopefully get it. Got him. Got him. Well, we've been fishing up this beautiful run, Pavel, on that side. And uh, he just, unfortunately, he just missed a take on that side and then. I was fishing up here and I spotted a fish. Unfortunately, the GoPro uh, stopped recording because it got too hot. And um, I didn't get this, but I might have got it on the other camera. Lovely uh, rainbow. It's a little bit skinny, probably recovering post spawning, but uh, a really nice fish. So I've got the GoPro underwater there to cool it down. Hopefully, I can get the release. But um, yeah, but cool it down while we're here. and. Uh, I will can uh, film the release nice and close up for us. Cool, definitely going better than yesterday. Much better, much more pleasant day. As Paul will see, we are a bit more rested and uh, fishing is going well. So let's hope that keeps going. Right, this section is a very good dry dropper section. The dry fly eat would be really cool, but nymph is fine with me too. Ideal water in there. Wind blowing my whole rig down. Yep, got him. Oh. Whoa. Not a big fish, but that's nice. Reward for that. That's awesome. Very cool. Perfect water. 
dry dropper. Cool. Okay, come on little fish. Well, not a big fish, but it breaks a quiet spell, which uh, has uh, plagued us for a little bit. So it's nice to get a fish. And uh, out of this lovely, roughly water here, so. Nymph will be nymph in the end. Get that one away. So did you just see a fish? Yep. Yes. In and out, in and out. Yeah, you got him that time. Awesome. Once again, trying to keep him in the water as much as I can. Yeah, always keep the fish in the water. And uh, try and get it to recover while you sort out your flies and stuff. Awesome, man. Good work. You spotted that fish, eh? Mm. <laughs> no, Paul. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> New release method for Paul. I, I, you didn't even see that escape out of the net. I haven't seen that fish properly. <laughs> Little bastard. <laughs> oh well. The Paul release. We'll call it that. Yeah. Well, good work, though. Nice. That was really cool. Yeah. It was quite a long cast to make, and I've seen that fish and. Then a couple more casts, I went more to the side. Yeah. They didn't cast right to the spot. So I had to get off the rock, make a couple steps, because sometimes wind was blowing my fly back. Yeah. And yeah, that was a good one. Nice. I did a little bit, I had to cut a little, I had to cast a little bit further to um, let the nymph sink, because I wasn't expecting the fish yeah. to take the dry. Yeah. So I had to fish slightly further, let the nymph sink. Then he took it. What? Nice, what was your nymph? Uh, I can show you because I change I change for for slightly heavier one which is a black black bead kind of herring copper I believe. Okay. With some tail. Yeah, yeah, nice black bead here in copper, so yeah. Yeah, I've been fishing at black bead here in copper as well with red wire today, so okay. here in copper's been doing the work. Yeah. So why we why we came back to the same pool we've been fishing five minutes ago? Well, I saw a fish in here and this water is quite fast and deep, so I decided to change to a nymphing rig and I'm just going to create a quick deep nymph through there and see if that works and I'll be fishing the deep fast water for the rest of the afternoon and Paul can do the dry dropper, which he did perfectly in the previous pool, so... Uh, let's see how that works. So all I did to swap to Euronym thing was add a long section of Saito Materials leader and then bold my tippet off that. Now earlier I saw a fish sitting deep on that opposite side but I'm just going to fish my way towards it first start close and then work my way that out that way in case there's more fish closer in right. pass through the middle yep got him good fish too that was not even where I saw that fish so I put the dry dropper over here many times and this is the third cast of the Euronymph and fish on. 
And a good fish too. Right there, a little in the back here, it's a bit shallower. Nice! Wow! My best fish for the day so far. Beautiful rainbow. Still a little bit skinny, I need to get that condition uh, after spawning, so. But uh, really beautiful fish, absolutely stunning. Look at that big head. Lovely, lovely fish. Get that one away. Well, we're finding out if we can get across this pool. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on my toe. Well, if you're on your toes, can you imagine where I'm going to be? I'm on my absolute it's crossable, critical. It's fine. Fine, depending on how tall you are. Oh my god, that was close. That was very close. <laughs> okay, as Paul calls it, perfect nymphing water. It does look pretty good. It's very deep. See the water is fine. Yep, got him. No, stay down, stay down. There we go. The benefits of urinumping in the deep water. Very good to get down. Oh, strong fish, eh? Oh, it just doesn't want to want to come. Strong fish. Nice. Very nice. Radio. Very nice. Lovely rainbow again. Nice. You're in the